Good morning, everybody. It's Tony, our Gavin Woods. How y'all doing? Hey, I want to say thank you to everybody that's commenting here lately. Um, it's been really good. I appreciate the, the talk and some suggestions and just different things. Um, what I do want to say first is uh, I've got three new people that subscribe and has been commenting that are under 300. And so those will be the first three you see on my um, shout out list. Um, the rest are shout outs that everybody that's commented to me uh, from comments to emails to a couple letters to I want to say thank you guys. I, I appreciate that. Um, it means a lot. And once again, most of you all know, except for the newbies, that how I do my shout outs is um, when I like today's video I'm going to put out as a perfect example. Um, when today's video goes out and you uh, the first ones that comment on it, that puts you at the first of the line after the newbies every week. So basically, you know, from 1 to 10, and I'm just going to keep right on going. Every day a video comes out, however it goes, that's how the list grows. I try to, the only way I can keep it honest, keep it right. Um, you know, if you, if you uh, comment me... Um, like yesterday, which was Monday, you'd be at the bottom of the list. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, and, and that meant if you were a person that I'd known a long time or somebody I just met, you'd be in the same spot. I have to keep it honest that way. Um, so anyway, uh, what's going on here? Um, the, the number one big thing that's really going on that really got me PO'd is my microphone broke. Yes, I just got it. Um, here's a clip to it. You're supposed to be able to take the clip off and move it around. You grab the clip and it won't come off. So I pulled a little harder and it ripped the wires right out of it. It, it, it. Just junk. Could not believe it. I've got to make a phone call, email. They're going to be hearing from me. Um, yeah, I can't. I've used it a couple times. I liked it and it's junk. It's, just, it's broke. It's gone. And I was trying to use it to go live. I want to go live. I even started setting up for my... Um, was it StreamYard? I've started doing all that and I just have been too busy. But um, yeah, I, now I gotta find out about another mic. So, anyway, uh, what else is going on? Um, some kind of, I guess it'd be kind of new, good news. The Garden Coop. Garden Coop, uh, remember I told you before I was gonna move those birds out to where the goats were and move the goat birds to another location. Well, I caught a video on some, on another channel and they are just talking about their birds were fighting and they realized that they had too small of a coop for the birds that they had. Well, I started thinking about that and I started checking into that. You know, I've got seven birds that's out there with the goats in that coop. And I took, I remember the measurements of that and I'm like, yeah, that's like, I'm real close right now to being maxed out for my birds that I've got. And I'm fixing to put 15 in there it wasn't going to work. So I decided to leave those birds out with the, where they're at now, the, the blue and gold, uh, red ones, or blue, gold and red ones, uh, Buff Orpingtons and red, uh, red, uh, Rhode Island Reds, out with the goats. They're going to stay there. Garden Coop, they're staying there. Instead of, as you guys have seen, I had a little trap door on the east side that goes into the garden. I'm going to go ahead and do another trap door that goes to the west side, which is all that woods. And I'm going to trim inside the woods uh, the low-lying branches, low shrub trees, cut them out, get rid of that. But I'm going to leave a lot of the branches above it. So any hawks, uh, whatever else can be in there, can be, you know, the birds can be shielded, guarded by that, those, uh, those branches and trees. I have got a, uh, I think it's uh, field wire. It's brown in color. You know, the squares are like about that big, like that. Um, I've got a, a whole bunch of that stuff I come across. So I'm going to put it in the woods, kind of square, almost the same size, two-thirds of what the garden is now. And then I'm going to take the inside of that garden coop, and I'm going to head and uh, make some boxes uh, for laying their eggs. And then I'm going to, some of that, what, everything that's in there, I'm going to take out all the tarps that you see in there. Uh, well, I, I don't know. We'll see about the tarp. The very top, i got to block off one ridge. Anyway, uh, I've got to figure out, I may need to make roosting areas to them. 
and I'm going to take out one shelf and put the brooding box or the uh, egg laying boxes in another spot. So I'm going to keep them out there in the garden. Just that with every time of year it is, is whether they go in the garden or not. So that way they're not being disturbed. They like what they have. They're doing really good in there. Um, so I'm going to have to make a, uh, a double feeder for them also. And I'll bring you along how I do that. I use a five gallon pail. Um, I've done a video on that already, but I'll make a double one this time. Um, so what else is happening here uh, on the homestead? Uh, pigs, I'll tell you what happened on Sunday. Sunday, we had a lot of rain. And um, uh, oh, I went out to the pigs and it was first thing in the morning, Sunday night, we had a lot of rain. And first thing in the morning, I went in where the pigs are. That whole area they're in was completely underwater except for where they lay bed. Thank God. I guess they kicked enough dirt up that kept the water out. But what's going on is, you know, pigs, they push dirt around. Well, they pushed it all up to the fence line. So that become a, a, a dam and they held all the water. What's that, 100 foot long by 20 foot wide? It was full of water. Luckily, I don't even think they were up yet had gone up they had been sleeping so I was out there with a shovel and I had to break in, in two um, I shoved in two past two drainage areas for all the water to drain out I was shocked but we haven't had that kind of rain since last spring and um, last spring I didn't have the pigs either they weren't in there rooting around everywhere so anyway I had to drain that so that was been a muddy mess for them uh, I went out and seen them then today, and a lot of that mud has dried up. It's doing good. So I got that going. I got finished that up. Um, I've been busy. Um, well, I had one day, but I'm talking a lot. Uh, my oldest daughter bought a home, I guess it's been about three years ago. House was about 10 years old when she bought it. And um, she decided she wanted to change all the flooring. And it's 1,800 square foot or 1,700 She's putting all new carpet in her bedrooms and the bathrooms, the living room, the kitchen is getting all new tile. So we had to rip out all the tile that's in there. So Sunday, uh, this past Saturday, uh, my son and I, my youngest son, um, and her, uh, we were in complete destruction of take ripping out um, not the bedroom carpets yet, but the carpets that was in the living room, the den. Um, uh, one of the hallways and then we ripped out all the tile most of the tile uh, we kept the toilets in until we're ready so the toilet still has um, tile around it but the bathrooms been gutted with tile the kitchen the foyer the other hallway the laundry room it's all gutted we spent the full day we did all that we were there from early and I didn't get home to it's an hour drive for me I think I got home maybe at nine something like that um, but uh, my uh, son came back the next day, Sunday morning, and finished up a couple other small things that they didn't get done. So uh, the goal is, I think tonight they're going to be there. Um, her master bathroom is separate from the house, and that's getting tiled. So what's going on there is um, they are prepping. They're going to string lines. They're going to get ready with the saw, get everything ready. Because, I mean, all that stuff takes time before you can do tile. Well, he works. And he gets up at 3 in the morning and go to work. So when he gets out of work sometime between 5 and 7, and yeah, he puts he puts in over like sometimes 80 hours a week. Um, anyway, he uh, uh, we're going to tile. Uh, we're, he's going to go down there tonight and um, string it, make sure it's prepped right, get everything done right. They're going to take the toil out, take out that tile, and then tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, we're going to hammer out, try to get two-thirds of that bathroom tile, and I'm going to go down and help. It's an hour's drive there, an hour's drive back for me. We expect about three hours worth of work. Um, the goal is to get at least two-thirds of it done because the next day I'll have to come back and do the other part because uh, so that tile gets to dry so you can move around some, and then you grout that. Um, she has a couple dogs, and uh, she needs a safe spot, clean spot for them to be at. And so we, you know, because her bathroom is a pretty large bathroom, I mean, she, uh, between her, her bathroom and uh, the, the tub and a shower, it's like a small bedroom. It's crazy. Um, 
But anyway, uh, get that done and she'll be able to put her animals in there when it dries in about a week safely and don't worry about them while we get the rest of the house tore apart. Um, so that's going to be, uh, I did that Saturday. I haven't done it yet, but I've been on the phone with them a lot with it. Um, so it will be getting busy for me going down there, um, you know, uh, in the evening. So I may not be putting out as many videos here coming up. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to videotape during her home. I want her privacy. I don't want her all over YouTube. Um, we're just leaving it to that. Um, so uh, anyway, that's what's going on there with, with, with her, what I've been doing the last couple of days. Um, Willow and I are going to, as soon as I'm done doing this video, we are running in town. i got a list of supplies I need to get, get ready for my garden, start my seeds very soon. I need to get seeds starting from uh, soil and some, um, I need to find a way to hold all my seeds in a box, find something. Um, that I can use because I have a lot of seeds that are not categorized and they're just thrown around. I got two big bagfuls. So I needed to go do that. Um, what else? I was going to go and get... Um, uh, I forgot I have a list. Anyway, I got stuff to do. So anyway guys, um, I guess I'm going to call that good. Uh, that's what's been going on here at the homestead, a couple things. Um, you know, I expect here comes springtime. We are going to be busy here when it gets warm, planting, gardening, get all that stuff going, and um, just get going. I want a great year for my um, for my uh, garden. Um, I communicate with my neighbor and yesterday, and see, I'm swimming off a little bit. I was going to tell you this though. He, uh, he didn't do gardening. He quit doing gardening because all his animals he allows to run free in his whole yard: goats and chickens and. This is the first year they took everything he had. <laughs> so I told him he uh, told him that um, you know we can barter. Uh, I've come, I'm gonna have all kinds of vegetables. Last year I had so many I didn't know what to do with them. And I told him, hell, I'm throwing your way. And you know, I mean, uh, he hunts and does all kinds of stuff, and and he makes jerky, deer jerky. I told him, buddy, I'd be glad to have that for trading out. I have no problem, or even giving him food. I'm just saying, you know, bartering. Anyway, so we talked about that. So, uh, bartering is a good thing, guys. I don't know if you ever tried it, but you should. It's no money out of your hip pocket. And a lot of my stuff I have outside yeah, is bartered or for free. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna go. I wanna get this video out. It's uh, about 8, 8, 10, and I need to get going. So, uh, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for sharing with everybody, telling people. Um, I'm up over 700 and I don't even remember what it was now. I haven't looked in a couple of days, so I, I'd lie to you if I told you. Thank you very much. It does mean a lot, you know. Um, I appreciate it, and I enjoy helping other people too. So, um, three new people this week, so you guys check them out and help them out, help them get up. And uh, you all have a great day, have a great week, be safe, stay warm, keep your eyes wide open, guys. All right, have a great day. Thanks again.